Hallihallo everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Starcrawlers. We are Adventures of, Adventures of Alessante Crew. Um, last time we did the story next last story mission, uh, not the last one, but well, last time we did a story mission, let's say it's like this. And we had to fight off a waste disposal unit, and after that we have to flee from a dro drone army, not dro drone. Uh, when we fought one of uh, one of us drones earlier, we uh, and destroyed it. It dissolved into some sort of black goo. So, yeah, we are probably having to fight some sort of liquid metal robots. I bet uh, some sort of Terminator the reference will come up. Uh, also, unless I have some unspent ability points, so let's spend for it. And yeah, I want to level this up. Rewarding blow. It's pretty good in, but in a um, pinch. And I want a higher defense. And I also want to sell. I want to sell all this loot. But I will keep the weapons and all. What is this? Rebreather provides basic protection against biological containment, chemical resistance, 10%, unequipped, 5% health. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know I picked this one up. And we have the Bravura Pistol of the Storm. 6 to 17 damage per shot, 3 shots, accuracy 88, critic strength 8%. And speed is also pretty good. Let's see. Oh, I want to use the autocraft bench. Oh no, wait, I mean the upgrade station. My fault. Elegant crit and change the pistol with elegant crit, increasing the hit and critical chance by 8%. Yes, there you never know, you already know this, but I want this too. Energon core, weapon damage increased by 10% and attacks. Deal energy damage, yes. When deal energy damage, tends to reduce the target's energy resistance 10% for 3 turns, yes. And I already know who I want to give this um, pistol. Where is, yeah, nobody. Oh, look at those stats now, that's awesome. Yes. I want to give it to you. I can't really imagine that he could keep this weapon for the rest of the game. What do we have here? Oh, this also looks pretty nice. Oh, this more for a soldier. Uh, those don't look so good if I take a closer look at it because. Um, Okay, this one isn't really tuned up, but um, Energize 2, Voip Psychers, Voip Psychers Chilis 2, what's that? Requires Voip Psycher, when a shield charge is lost, gain 10 avoid energy. Oh, that's pretty good. What does Zero have? That is for a smuggler. Ah, but um, nobody has already something for a smuggler. That's also a rare like shield. Oh, this one is even better than what he already has. Merchant unit, boom slang shield. No, let's give him this, tune it up. Where is he? There. Yes, this... Oh, this is very good. Yeah, let's give him that. I still don't know what I should do with his old shield. I mean, maybe... Yeah, you could maybe use it. It's a like shield, it's also a like shield. Mm. 
You have better dodge with me, absorbs more damage, I think? No, not much more, but at least a little bit. Five charges, five charges. On a Crimp 300, uh, time units to regenerate air charge, that's pretty good. Uh, plus 10. Oh, wait, but this one needs not as much. No, I will keep this around for her. I think I will um, sell this one. Soldiers Bravura Vulcan of the Void. I will store this one. But I will sell the old pistol and I think I will also sell this. We don't need it anymore. So let's go to Doxham Saloon and do some story. The typical Rose's saloon is strangely cried and patrons are huddled around the hollow void screens. Hollow bit screens. Doc Sam notices you and enter and motions you towards the displays as he turns the volume up. Looks like the CEO of Aurora Starlight say that Dan Nox is holding a press conference. Let's watch it. Elbowing from your way closer to the hollow bit display, you spot Terry Hobbs perched on a stool and Luca Lucas Filch slouched in the corner. Who are those two? On screen, the CEO. CEO CEO, this U, CEO of Aurora Station at a, po at a podium and flanked by big wigs from several corps, Xavier Denox. And this is why he, in concert with our allies of Astrohound Technologies, W. Yutaki, Foxkin Armor, Yi, Ji Yin, Biotechs, and Karga Enterprises, we are proud to announce the formation of a new interim government here, af here after the accord. Oh. To move forward as a towards a democratically elected government that elevates the needs of humanity over those of a selective few corporations. Denox goes to describe plans for arranging local elections. Put on the UFP feed. I wanna hear them whine. Sure up, you shouldn't be <gasps> in here, Brad. Oh yeah, Terry is for the girl who runs the um, weapon shop we go. A bottle goes sailing across the saloon from Tell Terry to Luke from, from Terry to Lucas table. Oh, let's see. Should we join him? Good. Should we go sit with anyone? No, let's change the channel. As the screen changes, you see a slick looking UFP rep holding a press conference in office zone. Text states he is Charles Warm Beer. Warm beer, the seventh. Ah, so he's German. Of Horizon Robotics. Strongly condemn these actions by the Accord and have launched an investigation into the broad spectrum of treaties, ag treaties, agreements, and public policies violated by uh, by the formation. Thank you. I will not take questions. The UFP approved reporters shuffle forward and ask prepared questions in dreary tones. Hmm. Let's sit with Lucas. <coughs> oh yeah, that was the doctor. I forgot about him. You join Lucas at his table. He's clearly been at the saloon for a while, judging from a number of empty bottles cluttering the area. Hey, I'm not on the clock, okay? I'm trying to relax and have a good time. Here, wish is hard to reach that little rant around. He gestures rightly at Terry, who hops on her stool and heats for the exit. Shrike, kid. Get on back, yeah, sh shop. Damn pro governance hippies. You want them? You're here to seal bread for a code? A code? Yay. Actually, I'm walking with Oho, so I guess that makes does make me pro a code. I'm just here to get my. F nah. Go home, Filch. You are drunk. I can't go home, you piece of sh. Okay, watch out. I'm going to poop some cure all and get back to my real job. Lucas slides off his chair and stumbles towards the exit. Join Doc at the bar. Doc Archer 
hands, his eyebrows as he walked over. Interesting times. I hate interesting times. Bad for business. Let's see. No kidding, I think I'm robbed up in this. What do you know what, about what's going on? And got anything to drink back here? Hmm. Yeah, let's ask for a drink. Doc reached under the bar and produced a bottle of dubious substance. Seeing as it's such a momentous occasion, I got a bottle of Antonio's Special Reserve I've been keeping. I've been keeping. You want to crack this open and we talk about what's happening? Cork fee is 100 credits. Ah, why not? Doc's cybernetic... Oh yeah, he is a cybernetic arm. I forgot about it. I mean, you don't really see it that clearly. Doc's cybernetic arm hoists the bottle and props out of a cork, pouring out shots automatically. He smokes at the, at the arm as it moves through the jerky routine. You kids got it easy these days. Lose a limb and they can grow you a new one. You lose that one in, a, in the war? How old do you think I am? War was 100 plus years ago. Nah, my folks here in it were in it though. Cold out from the army that took to hiding out on the rim to move on with their lives. Till the UFP mobbed teams found them a dozen years on. They got killed and I got lucky. He raised his cybernetic arm and waggled his finger stiffly. Just lost a limb. Oh. Sorry to hear that. No love for the UFP, eh? Well, since UFP came to power and freed up regulations on biotech and the like, you can now get a cloned limb on the sheep. No more need for janky cybers like I got. We are when you sewer ain't lost on me. Ever think about getting a cloned one instead? Nah, not much point. When you're curting the reaper like I am. Besides, this old thing helps when I'm... I need to, to escort some drunk yet out of the premises. Speak, speaking of which, Doc eyes shots at on the bar. Let's have a drink. Doc grins and lifts his shots. So a bunch of cops have got together and decide they are starting a new government. The UFP is trying, going to try and scrawl them. What, what are we drinking to? Good fortune for us, poor aim for to our enemies. Hmm. A big party and a clean getaway. Here's the serving with us, then we have Nah, a big payday and clean getaway. Here's so that bottoms up. You don't your shots and the liquor fills you with a warm glow. I cannot see what is what is written there. Easy easy, I have to work tomorrow. Do I? I don't. Whee! Sadly, I cannot. Oko is behind me. I am quite upset. Oh, poor prototype. You want me to fetch you a pint of oil or something? Her. Oh, that's a that's a good dialogue. I wonder if we have um, those three because we took them last to our mission, or because it's kind of random. So what's your take on what's going on? We are in a hell of a time. This accord government may claim it's temporary and for the people, but UFP ain't going to treat it any nicer for it. I reckon it means an all-out war between the two for before long. What do you reckon? I think you, the accord is trying to do the right thing. UFP is too radical. I think it means plenty of opportunity for morable, flexible, for moral, morally flexible crawler, and an LP LP guy who can't really uh, um, read that much, uh, that good. I'm with a UFP of this one. We don't need a government. I don't care. I'm just nah, nah. Uh, let's talk uh, about being morally flexible. You ain't wrong on that. Mind you play your cards close and watch your crews next first. UFP Accord Health Ebox United One extends you that, uh, that same courtesy. 
I'll keep that in mind, so what's lined up? Some lady from Aurora left a message for you. To call her as soon as possible, probably pretending to us a court business. What of caution, mind you don't bring the mess back to the station near here? I set up the wire for you now. Oh yeah, before you do, what's the deal with Lucas Filch? Dog read regards to Cooley. Not wrong to have form, form on, on the patrons, but Filch is a, is a little suspect. Rumor is he used to be a surgeon back in the core worlds. Messed up big and friends are at the UFP served it under the rug. Long as he hightailed it out of out of a rim. That's all I got. Okay, let's do a call now. Uh, before I continue to read, how much time do we have? Oh, four minutes. The whole video is just um, going to be a story, but it's quite interesting. And we are in the middle of it. Doc turns and punches in some numbers to an interface behind the bar. He pauses casually, looking over the bar, pa patrons and locals for turning back to the interface. I'm going to road this to the via terminal outside. Give you a bit of more privacy. Just sit out here there when you are ready to call your talk contacts. Thanks, I'll pick it outside. Okay. After making sure no one's loitering nearby, you punch in the wire address Doc set up for you and to contact your client. The call connects almost instantly. Hello, I must apologize in advance, but I don't have lo long to talk at the moment. As you can imagine, things are quite hectic around here. I trust you have been you have seen the formal announcement on the accord. Yes, I'm looking for forward to working with accord. I'm not committing to anything yet. How do I fit into the accord's plans? I won't be working for the accord. What's the accord? Let's talk about this. Aliana gives a perplexed look. You're joking, right? Formal alliance of Aurora, Asraun, W, Yutaki, Yen, Foxy, and Kaki, provisional government democratically elected by the people. It's all over in the news. We talked about it personally. All right, yeah, we did. These are serious times, Alessa. I hope you will treat your employment with the accord as such. I am not committed to anything yet. How, yeah, I. How do I ever how fit into this? I would be happy to outline our ambitions for you, but may we discuss with Stella Marine first? What did you find at the coordinates? I was hoping you would call on site, but you never did. We had to make a Mahesa retreat. The area was swamped with hostiles. Oh, but that was to be expected, no? The ship drones have gone all road. These weren't beta bots and cleaners. I'm talking of military grade killing machines, some type I've never seen before. I wish I could remember what voice I gave for. Uh, this very alarming. The Stellar Marine suddenly did not have any combat drones aboard. They must have been transported aboard by a third party. I would assume Horizon. Even stranger is they appear to melt when destroyed, some sort of Nanite self destructs What? How bizarre. What did you find at the target coordinates? Were you able to locate any evidence of the drone's origins? Alas, no. The trash compactor or automaton attempted to waylay us, waylay us, but that was all. No sign of any ship material either. Not sure where it went after the trash compactor. There should be at least have been some evidence of the material collected by the ship drones. Perhaps these combat drones are transporting it elsewhere. I will relay your information to Mr. Previous and speak to our technicians about the melting prospect. We must capture one of the combat drones to proceed. All right. In the meantime, we have local matters to deal with. The UFP has allowed piracy to run, to run rampant, rampant on the rim. Yeah, I know that. Damn pirates. Using the threat of pirate raids to keep the independent corporations and planets subservient to their rule. We are going to demonstrate that the Accord will not tolerate this. Oh, we have to wipe out some pirates, do we? Okay, let's do it. What's the plan? This is where you may 
where you may be of unique assistance to your court and me personally. Oh. Oh. Nah, she will just use us to get the power. With the exception of our friends at W. Taki and Foxkin V, a court does not count many military minded people among its ranks. Oh, I hope we get some good stuff from W. Taki. We are business folk primarily. As such, I would appreciate hearing your opinion on how to best deal with pirates. Oh, let's see. Uh, time is actually over, so I will cut the video here. And next time we will meet each other again at exactly this point, because this could go on for a long, long time. So uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. And next time, more story and maybe animation. So goodbye and have a nice day.